So I thought I'd put together a quick routine and this is gonna focus on the front side, so the abs and also the back. Remembering that our core is not just our abs. I see that a lot of people say, I gotta work on my core. It's really this whole space from the mid thigh to the chest all the way around the body. We are gonna focus a lot on this today, all right? So we're gonna come around. I'm gonna be giving amendments at, throughout, um, so you can just hang in there. We're gonna start in the tabletop. If you do have a bad foot, you can always flex the good one and throw the bad one over the top. Or you can roll up a yoga mat or a blanket and put it under your shin so that if that foot is flexed, it won't jam into the floor, okay? All right, so we're gonna warm up the spine first and start to get the abdominals and the back warmed up as well. So starting in a tabletop, uh, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Spread the fingers nice and wide and press down through the palms. Take a nice inhale. Then as you exhale, we're gonna round into a big cat stretch. So tailbone comes under, lifting in the abdominals and ribs. Breathing in a reverse set, tailbone goes up. Hands tug a little on the floor towards the knees to help draw the shoulders away from the ears. And we'll take that again. Exhale, tailbone comes under. Push through the palms, lift in the ribs and belly, breathe in reverse. Here you're trying to bring your tailbone towards your shoulders. You'll feel your back muscles working. Exhale, tailbone comes under, lift up through the belly, draw the ribs in, push through the hands, breathing in, reversing. And one more time, exhale, push down through the palms, Lift up through your belly, lift up through your ribs, let your head go. And inhale, reversing, tailbone goes up. Shoulders pull down away from the ears. We exhale back to neutral. We're gonna move to child's pose. Again, if I were crossed with my legs, I could simply go this way or with the feet on the blanket. And just take a moment here, wide palms into the floor, hips gently swaying left and right. Nice, full, deep breaths here. Inhale, sway your hips one direction, and the exhale, sway them the other way. We're gonna move up into a tabletop, and as we exhale, we'll come around to our rear end, and we're gonna roll down, actually, I'm gonna go this way, roll down onto our backs. Okay, so this exercise is going to start to get these low abdominals fired up. Take the legs hip distance wide. Extend one leg straight out. I like to put the hands here across the low belly, so over the hips, to make sure this is turning on. Um, the leg is going to be all the way straight, flexing the foot. And as we take a nice inhale here, when we exhale, we want to pull the belly button down, pull the low back towards the floor. I'm going to move my hand so you can see this to start to raise the leg up. And as you do that, you'll feel these muscles under your hands start to engage over time. Bring it all the way up, point the foot, flex the foot. Obviously, if it's your bad foot, don't do that. And then really straight with the leg, that's important so that we get the right muscles to activate. Keep the back of the ribs and the low back planted into the floor here. I'm gonna lift my hands up so you can see that. I'm not letting this happen. And keep that on the floor as long as you can. Right here, the lumbar curve might come back into play. Neutral, that's fine. We're gonna do it again. Again, pull the low back down into the floor. Don't let the leg lift with the arch and then pull it down. Pull it down first, anchor the ribs down, and you'll feel the whole front start to engage. We'll bring it to the top and we're going to lower it down again. So I'm trying to keep this all engaged, pulling in and down into my midline. This stays flat on the floor. And we're going to do it once more. Again, belly button goes down, low back into the mat to raise the leg up. You're going to feel those low abdominals engage there. We want to get those guys working. We're going to lower it down because that's what's going to come into play for the rest of that practice today. Once we've done it three times, we're going to relax that leg, slide the other leg out. Nice big inhale, exhale, the low back moves into the floor, back of the ribs down on the mat as the leg raises up. Make sure this is staying straight. You can even touch that to make sure it's engaging. Point the foot, 
flex the foot, firm thigh, anchoring down through the abdominals, pulling the ribs as if you had a corset on or they were being compressed. Keep the low back on the floor for as long as possible. And then again, on an exhale, belly button goes down, ribs go down, low back into the floor, leg stays nice and strong and straight to the top. We lower it down, same thing. If you're swinging your leg up and down, I'm gonna guarantee 99% chance that you're missing some of this. So take it slow, really feel, you'll feel these guys wanna let go at times. You wanna work against that leg going down. Take it once more, ribs go down, belly goes down, leg raises on up. Breathing here. And this is the last one. Hanging on to all of that as the leg lowers. So ribs drawing in, low back stays on the ground, firming up through the thigh. After the third one, we relax, we bring the leg in, interlace the fingers, bring them behind the head. So we're gonna take a big inhale and the same thing, you can even put your hand on your ribs. As you exhale, we're gonna pull down on the ribs to bring our head and shoulders off the floor. Then we'll inhale and lower back down. This is very different from doing this. You see how my shoulders didn't come off the floor? I'm just pulling on my neck. So elbows wide, let the hand support your head. Nice big inhale. Exhale, compress the ribs. And then we lift the head and shoulders off the floor. I'm looking straight up at the ceiling rather than trying to pull myself in. Inhale is gonna lower us down. We're gonna take this five times. Exhale, we'll curl you up, pull the ribs down. You'll feel the back of the ribs push into the mat. And then breathing in, lowering all the way down. And again, exhale, ribs compress. Breathing out to come up. Inhale, lower you back down. Two more to go. Inhaling will take you out back. So I think of the spine lengthening as I lower. And one more, exhale, elbows wide, looking straight to the ceiling, not meant to be felt here. Let your hand support your head. These are what actually curl you up. Inhale to lower. And that's gonna be built on in a couple of the next exercises. And we're gonna roll over onto our belly. Slip the hands underneath our head. Again, if you need to put that mat underneath your shin so your foot or your ankle has some support there, it's not jamming into the floor, go ahead and do it. We're gonna rest the head on the hands. I'm gonna keep mine up just so that you can hear my voice and relax your shoulders. So we're trying to keep this whole upper body relaxed. Bring the inner thighs together. You'll take an inhale. You're gonna engage the rear end to drive the front of the hips into the floor. Squeeze the inner thighs and I'm reaching my legs back Again, extending the legs, meaning lift those muscles above the knees to see if the legs will come off the floor at all. Rear end engaging there. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds here. So five more, four, three, two, one, and then inhale to lower. And this time I'm gonna do it with my head on my hands. Breathing in, exhale, engage the rear end. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the front of the thighs. Reach the toes long, breathe for five, easy shoulders, four. Work in the lower body. You'll probably feel your low back working here. And inhale to lower down. And we'll take it one more time. Big breath in, exhale, engage the rear end. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift above the knees, toes reach back, easy shoulders. Five, four, three, two and one, lowering down. Hands will shift back. You can take a quick child's pose here. And we're gonna flip back over onto our back. Roll yourself on down. Back to the front side, adding on to what we did earlier. Now both legs are gonna come up, flexing the feet, hands next to the sides of the hips. We're gonna take the exhale to push our heels up and try and lift the booty off the floor and then lower it down. What we're not doing is swinging the legs. So try and avoid that momentum. And we're gonna do heels up, and as we exhale, push them up and lower them down. So my heels pretty much stay right over my hips. And we're gonna do four, we're gonna do 15. Five, do as many as you can. 
And this is seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, so you can keep the shoulders on the floor. Four, three, two, and one. You'll start to feel those low guys when you got that right. We'll bring the knees into the chest, interlace the fingers again, slip them behind the head. This time we take one leg and reach it out. You can think of about a 45 degree angle. If you're unable to keep your low back on the floor, raise the leg up a little bit higher, okay? So the lowering of the leg is gonna be determined by if you can keep that low back and the back of the ribs down. This is gonna build on our curl up. So we take our exhale, we curl up. That's that same one, pull the ribs down. And we're gonna turn my shoulder, my armpit towards the knee. So not elbow to knee, but keep the elbows wide and turn. Breathe in to switch, exhale, rotate. So these are a little slower. Inhale, switch, exhale, turn. Inhale, switch, exhale, turn. Inhale, switch, deep in the ribs. Inhale, switch, exhale, turn. Inhale, switch, exhale, rotate. Inhale, switch, exhale, rotate. Inhale, switch, exhale, rotate. Last two. Inhale, switch, exhale, rotate. Inhale, switch, exhale, rotate. Knees to chest, rest on the back. And just in case you decide to practice it again, try not to let those shoulders go to the floor in between each time. Your goal would be, should you choose to chant that goal, keep those shoulders up the whole time. All right, we roll back over onto our bellies. Similar to what we did before, but now we're gonna add the upper body. So we did the legs reaching back. Now we're gonna sweep the arms around, come up into a full Superman. So again, inner thighs together, firm up the thighs so the legs are straight. Engage the rear end to drive the hip bones into the floor. And then breathing in, hips go down, chest goes forward and up. We're gonna spiral our thumbs to the ceiling and breathe for six, five, four, three, two, and exhale, lower. And we're gonna do it two more times for 10 seconds. Legs come together, take a big inhale, engage the rear end, engage the thighs, squeeze the inner thighs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can turn your head to the other side as you rest. We're gonna go for one more of those. Legs come together. Inner thighs together, front of the thighs lift, rear end engages, lengthen out to float up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lowering down one. Again, hands drag up, rear end can move to heels in child's pose. Bring yourself up, we're gonna move into a plank. So for those of you who have a bum foot or how you could work with it, slide the good leg back, throw the other leg over the top. Otherwise, you're on two feet. We're gonna start in down dog, so you could be here. As we come forward into our high push-up position, here's where you wanna employ all the stuff we've been doing. Squeeze the booty, firm up the thighs, belly button draws in, ribs draw in, hands press down and we lift in the armpits. Exhale, we'll go back to down dog. Now Kirk behind the camera is gonna time us for a minute and we're gonna go from a plank and then we're gonna go down to a forearm plank. Mm -hmm. Now when we do this, if it's too much, you can go plank to knee plank or you can do plank to forearm knee plank. You could go between these two, you could go between these two or you can do the one that I'm gonna show. So you've got your options there. Either way, they're each gonna be 10 seconds. All righty, Kirk, are you ready? Ready. All right, here we go. So we come forward on the inhale. He's gonna time us for 10 seconds. I'm gonna cue you. Firm up the thighs, squeeze the booty, draw the belly in, pull the ribs in, push down through the palms, lift the armpits. And now we're gonna go down. So you go to knee plank, or you're gonna to come to forearm plank or forearm knee plank. Here I'm gonna pull my toes to my elbows and my forearms towards my toes. Two, That's gonna help me lift one. up. Now I'm gonna come back up. Same thing here. Breathing, 10. 
Squeeze the booty, firm up the thighs. Lift the belly. Two, Pull the one. ribs in, and we go on back down. Now again, make fists with the hands. Pull the toes towards the elbows. Elbows towards the toes. Two, one. Watch out for that. Back up. Palms press firm. Strong arms. Lift in the armpits. Last five. Pull the ribs in. Squeeze the booty. We're almost there. Last one. Down to your knee plank or your forearm plank. Forearms pull the toes. Toes pull the forearms. Squeeze the booty. Lift the belly. Pull the ribs in. Elbows to toes. Toes to elbows. And we're done. And we lower down. That's going to work you the whole darn thing. You're probably going to be feeling that. All right, last piece here. I'm going to roll on to a side. Legs will come out. So legs a little in front of you. The top arm, everybody likes to swing it up here, but it's not going to be very useful up there. So bring it on down. Same angle as your legs, two parallel lines. Other hand's going to go behind your head. Again, not pulling on the neck. Version one, we're going to push down through the forearm and your hip will be a fulcrum. You bend the knees and you come up. See how my shoulder comes off the floor. Notice I'm not doing this, so I'm keeping the chest up. Then I would lower down. Version two, legs would stay straight. I come up this way. If you're struggling with this and can't get up, I encourage you, bend your knees until you can get the motion, all right? All right, we're gonna go for 15 of these. Do as many as you can, pause if you need to. We breathe in, we breathe out to come up. So exhale to come up. And four, and five. Here's the other version. Six, with the knees bent. Seven, can't keep up with me, it's okay. Just do what you can do. 11, come back, do it again the next class, get stronger. We have 13, 14, and 15. We lower down, you either roll over or you swing around like I'm going to do so I can stay facing you. And same thing, legs come in front of you a little bit, arm parallel to leg. Watch out for this. It's going to be very hard to do it with your arm up here. Bring it on down. And the coordination on these sometimes does take a while. Version one and lower. Two and lower. Version two, three and lower. Four. Five, that's it. Six, push with the forearm to come up. Eight, not pulling on your head. Nine, five to go. We have five, not dropping down. Four, lowering down. Three, two, and then one. And then you rest, you bring yourself up, swing it around. Take a child's pose. Rock the hips a little side to side. Bring yourself up to tabletop. We'll end how we started. Again, you can cross the foot over if you need to here. Nice big inhale. Exhale, tuck the tail. Rounding, breathing in, reversing. Shoulders draw away from the ears. One more of those, exhale. Rounding up, inhale, reversing, tailbone towards the shoulder, shoulders towards the tailbone, back to neutral, and there you go. 